So finally, it is my pleasure to present our next presenter, Utif. Did I say that correct? Atif Bastik. Got that? Okay. He is the current executive director of Uplift, a foundation with a mission of delivery, entrepreneurial solutions that support underserved communities. Uplift works to support food businesses, local governments, and nonprofits in creating sustainable access to fresh and healthy food, nutrition education, and health care in underserved communities. His role as executive director, in his role as exec executive director, Atif is responsible for the organization's three main areas of focus, the creation of sustainable food access, access to health care, and access to capital in underserved communities. Prior to joining Uplift, Atif supported Community Reinvestment Act and internal colleague training initiatives. And for his leadership roles, Mr. Bostic was recognized for his outstanding work in 2012 with the Chairman's Award for employing a high-performing and engaged workforce. And again, in 2014, with the Community Development Business Partner Award. Throughout his career, Mr. Bostic has been very active with non-for-profit organizations. He has served as an interim president and CEO of the Philadelphia OIC, provided strategic planning support for multiple organizations to include the Mayor's Office of Community Service, provided marketing support to the Delaware Financial Literacy Institute, and partnered with the Pennsylvania Department of Health the Chester Housing Authority, and the School District of Philadelphia to create and host a series of community open houses to increase health awareness and provide access to free health screenings in Chester and in Philadelphia. Please join me in welcoming Atif Bostic. Thank you. So uh, I think the first thing I want to do is go to our website and uh, decrease the amount of words in the bio. <laughs> That's my first order of business, first thing in the morning. Um, thank you for having me here tonight. Uh, and I want to congratulate all the nominees and award winners so far. Everyone in this room is a winner. So I'm going to actually modify my remarks a little bit because, I mean, you've heard from some dynamic speakers this evening, and I think they covered a lot of it. And I think I'm between you and more drinks or something or getting out of here. <laughs> and so, um, so I'm going to, to get right to it. So again, my name is Atif Bostic. I lead an organization called Uplift Solutions. Uplift focuses on creating access to fresh and healthy food, access to capital, access to jobs. Uh, access to healthcare, nutrition, education, and benefits in underserved communities, really with the goal of impacting the social determinants of health in those communities, which you've heard Nida talk about um, quite a bit. And at the core of the work that we do is really built around sustainability. And so how do you sustain those, uh, those projects? Um, how do you help to improve communities? And to Nida's point, it's absolutely right. When you look at certain communities, that's where this exists. And so um, again, I'm going to modify my remarks a little bit and get right to the awards and start talking about those who do this work uh, this evening. So um, let's jump right into it. So the first award goes to Climate Hero. These nominees are combating climate change through communications and large scale initiatives and programs which dramatically improve sustainability through infrastructure, policy, restoration, and research. And the nominees are Climate and Urban Systems Partnerships. The climate. All right, there we go. I was paying attention, so I, but I forgot. I need to give space for. I'm sorry. I promise I'll, I'll get the next one right. The Climate and Urban Systems Partnership is a group of informal science educators, climate, sci climate scientists, learning scientists, and community partners to explore in, uh, innovative ways to educate city res uh, residents about climate change. The second nominee, Manal Raval. Manal keeps trying to build a local economy and promote community-based solutions to make our region resilient to climate change with a geographic focus on Philadelphia and surrounding counties. 
all whilst embracing a zero waste, low carbon, voluntary, simply, simple lifestyle in Mount Airy. Great. Wow. Zero waste, low carbon. That's great. Sarah Wu. Sarah Wu served for eight years in the city of Philadelphia's Office of Sustainability, most recently as the de deputy director. Sarah managed the city of Philadelphia's climate adaptation planning and oversaw the 2016 update of the city's sustainability plan, Greenworks. All right, I have a few concerns because I heard that Ernst and Young prepared these. <laughs> and Steve Harvey actually wrote them out. So right in advance, I have to apologize. All right. So the climate hero for 2018, Sarah Wu. I'm also going to be brief because I also don't want to be between you and drinks. Um, so I got, nominated, I got nominated as a climate hero. I didn't really feel great about that, so I went like all good English majors would do and looked up here in the dictionary. It didn't make me feel any better. <laughs> I don't feel very heroic. So I was struggling with this nomination, and I thought, you know what? I'm thinking about this the wrong way. It's not that I'm not a climate hero. It's that we are all climate heroes. Um, so... <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about this quote from Walter Musk, who's a pretty famous oceanographer, and he said that to solve climate change in the next century, it will require a miracle of love and unselfishness. So that's what I'm here to call for tonight. Um, hopefully, we can all, as climate heroes together, work toward this love and unselfishness. Um, and I think my, I'm going to do a call to action, which is my, like calling card. Uh, so I'm going to ask you guys to do three things toward this miracle. One is be curious. Climate change is really complex. We don't know how we're going to solve it or fix it or be in it. Um, so keep an open mind and um, be curious. Um, try. I say to my sister all the time about parenting, well, we're trying, so we're winning. Say <laughs> Same thing with climate. We're trying. So try and try again. Um, this is a long haul. Don't get discouraged when the first thing you try doesn't work. Try, try again. Um, and the last thing I'll ask everyone to do is vote. Um, yeah. And no, really. <laughs> You vote and you get someone else to vote too. Um, and I mean that literally, I mean vote in elections, but I also mean that figuratively. I mean vote with your time, vote with your money. We are all people of power here in this room. Think about your power and vote with your power. Um, so with that, I just want to thank everyone here. Um, thank you for being climate heroes and I look forward to um, continuing on this journey towards this miraculous love and unselfishness together.